states along the southern border have seen an increase in migrants and have declared a state of emergency as well. We start our team coverage right now with Gloria Pazmino in El Paso. You can see behind me just a wall separates the U.S. and Mexico. And beyond these gates, there's a group of migrants waiting to be processed ahead of the expiration of Title 42 at midnight today. That's when the country returns to decades old protocols at a time of unprecedented mass migration in the Western Hemisphere. Eric Mendoza is breaking down. He faces the possibility of deportation after making the months long trek from his native Honduras. He says he paid $50 for the set of documents. It's a likely scam many migrants, desperate for answers, are falling prey to. He says he wants to be here legally. Just like him, there are thousands more in El Paso. Meanwhile, El Paso city officials are working to open up emergency shelters and say the city is at a breaking point. Federal officials are trying to discourage migrants from crossing. Let me be clear. The lifting of the Title 42 public health order does not mean our border is open. In fact, it is the contrary. Now, there is already an unprecedented number of people turning themselves into Border Patrol, and the surge is creating a strain on the system. More than 26,000 people are already in custody, but many more are waiting just beyond the border. Reporting in El Paso, Texas, Gloria Pasmino, back to you. Gloria, thank you. Border agents in other states are also seeing more migrants at the border. This is more video from Juarez near El Paso showing a small migrant group going through a fence to cross over. Uh, meanwhile, border officials in California are seeing more people uh, building up at the border wall just south of San Diego. Federal officials say they're expecting more than 10,000 migrants a day after Title 42 does end.